Hello everyone, we're back again with another one of our movie commentaries. Today we are looking at Suicide Squad, which um, I think a lot of people didn't really like too much. I haven't heard great things, uh, and neither of us has watched this, have we? No, so, but I do know that it's responsible for pretty much every blonde girl's Halloween costume for the past five years. <laughs> that is true. Because <laughs> they've all decided that they look like Margot Robbie, when we all know that that's not really true, is yeah, it? <laughs> it's going to be hard to pull that off, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. But um, apart from that, I don't really... I know Will Smith's in it. I didn't know that. And... Um, do we know as what? What's the character he plays? Oh, it's... Oh, we'll find Dead out, I guess. shot, I think, where he shoots things left, right, and centre. Oh, okay. And someone's going to correct us, as yeah. they always do. Yep. Um, but I do know that there's a sequel that's come out, which I think is being looked on a lot more favourably. Okay. Uh, but I do think it's detached itself completely from the first one. Okay, so it's almost like a sta- <laughs> which, standalone. Uh, yeah, standalone it film. doesn't really bode too well for what we're about to go into. <laughs> But yeah, from what I hear, it's just a giant mess, and oh, it's another version of the Joker. Oh, God. But it's Jared Leto, it's 30 Seconds to Mars guy. Yeah, but the thing is, Heath Ledger did such a good job on his... I don't think anyone else can match up to He set the bar too high, to be honest. And I think my worry is that Leto, to avoid being seen as a poor man's Heath Ledger, has gone wildly the other way. Yeah, yeah. But that brings me on to the other film, the Joker in it. Was it just called the Joker? Oh, Joker! Yes, yeah. the um, oh, Joaquin Phoenix. Yes. Have you watched that? I have seen that one. Do you like it? I thought it was really good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed parts of it, but I couldn't warm to his character. I couldn't warm to the Joker. Heath Ledger's Joker. I'm on his side. I'm not really on this guy's side. <laughs> if that makes sense. Oh, you know the bad guy who's murdering people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the guy I want to be like. Yeah. Yeah. So Heath Ledger's Joker. I'm all right with him. Uh, I couldn't really warm up to to this one. So. Anyway, so, yeah. I think we'll dive into it in a second. Um, same stuff we always say. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment of other movie commentaries you'd like us to do. Uh, we're pretty open to doing most things, really. Yeah. Yes, most things. We yeah. had one bad experience. <laughs> <laughs> one? Mm, yeah, one. <laughs> but... Um, as you probably already guessed, we're not showing you the actual movie because we can't do that. Um, YouTube would take us down in seconds and where would you go for your classic movie commentaries? Exactly. Uh, if you really want to see it, we're currently getting it off Netflix. I know it's been on Amazon in the past. Uh, you might even have the DVD. So what we'd like you guys to do is to watch it along with us. So get it all lined up on your laptops, on your DVDs, on your tellies, whatever you're watching it on. And then we're going to count you down when to press play. You press play at the exact same time as us. And we basically watch it along. It's like you're sat watching it with a pile of mates. And who wouldn't want friends like us? The best sort. But even if you don't have the movie and you've seen it before, you can literally just uh, listen to what we're saying as we go through it and just say, oh, yeah, I remember that bit. Oh, yeah, that was rubbish. Oh, yeah, Margot Robbie is quite fit. (laughs) (laughs) Basically, if on a long road trip, stick us on. Yeah. And enjoy. Right. So, uh, I think we're pretty much good to go here. I've said everything. Yeah, you want to count us down? Yep, my classic countdown. So, get it all lined up, hovering over those play buttons, and we're going to press play in three, two, one, and play. There we go, we did that quite well. That was excellent. I press play, you count us down. Teamwork. It does make the dream work. (laughs) Although this isn't DreamWorks, we just thought it was Warner Brothers. Oh, I think we'll skim over that. I'm liking the colour show. It's very... uh, Yeah, they were very uh, sort of... I think they're going for this sort of like edgy attitude sort of thing. It's kind of a psychedelic look to it, isn't it? (laughs) It's that sort of rebellious graffiti stuff, isn't it? Yeah. It can look good from time to time. Right, I'm assuming this is a prison. Yep. Oh, there's Will Smith. Uh, you know what? In all of this, I never realised he was in it. I don't feel like anyone mentioned it. No, it's because everyone only talked about Margot Robbie, really, didn't they? Yeah. Does he have a big role in it? Do you know? Or? I think he's one of the main ones along with her. Oh. As in so, Floyd Mayweather? <laughs> there's the boxing analogy for you. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna... But I'm sorry, you're not as built and ripped as Will Smith there if they're just giving you that to eat. He's getting his uh, nutrition from somewhere. Oh, 
So he's threatening yeah. him. Setting it up. Oh, he's definitely a bad guy. The thing is, I don't feel like Will Smith makes the best bad guy. What's he been a bad guy in? The only Remember Hancock? He wasn't a bad guy, but he was yeah. like a bad boy type. He was more the sort of like... He was basically a superhero stoner. Yes. Yeah. But I, I can't really... Oh, here we are. Now, I've got a feeling Margot Robbie's really going to go a bit over the top here to show how crazy she is. Is she like a female Joker? She's Joker's girlfriend. Oh, so, yes. Is the answer to that question. Yeah. <laughs> is this prison just holding a bunch of crazies? I think it might be a pile of separate prisons. Or is it Arkham Asylum? Oh, there's a point. It might be. Because I'm trying to think. They did put Arkham in the Christopher Nolan Batmans, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burn after use. Is that what he says on her top? (laughs) (laughs) That's so that we know that she's sexy. There we go. I feel like the uh, guards are a bit too chummy chummy with the prisoners, eh? Yeah. She did a really good job in um, Wolf of Wall Street. I she think was that was that. an outstanding performance from her. What else has she played in? She's what, sorry? What else has she played in, which is, like, good? I'm just trying to think what else she's been in. I know she was in Tarzan, but I never saw that. No. I never saw that either. Oh, this is where they show us how crazy she is. Wait, why are the guards torturing them? I don't know. Are they trying to get information from her? Or just being mean for the sake of being mean? No, I'm not sure. I think they've just summed up her character there. (laughs) Pretty and crazy. It's all you need to know. It's also the two Suicide Squad members they've introduced are the two big actors. Yeah. Well, we're going in heavy. But I think the pitfalls with things like this is a real difficult tightrope because they've got to be villains, but they've also got to be the heroes of this movie. Are they sort of like the anti-hero? Well, yeah, it's basically they're forcing the baddies to do something good. Oh, is that what the storyline is? Yeah. I thought they'd just break out and start doing causing havoc. That would probably be a better movie. But it's like the government, I think, are going to force them all together. There we go, good old-fashioned title card. But um, the government's like going to force them all together to do what they want. Ah. And I think it's something like they get time off their sentence or something. I wonder what it is that the government needs them to do. It'll be sort out some big baddie. Well, oh, like the king baddie above these yeah, guys. Yeah, just some big monster that they can't deal with. And it's, I'm assuming it's a monster that the other lesser baddies also find to be a baddie. Mm. Now, obviously Superman and Batman are in this universe, but I think Superman's dead at this point. Oh. Well, that guy was, was selling Superman t-shirts outside the... Because mm. Superman... See, the next Superman, she says... So I think Superman came back in Justice League, but I think he died in the Batman vs. Superman train wreck. That yeah, they because they don't, don't they, doesn't Aquaman bring him back? Is it Aquaman? Does it? I don't, oh, it's oh, called Deadshot. There we go. Do you get the feeling it's trying too hard to be cool here? Yeah, they've got a lot of things going on to try to prove a point. But we'll see. I'm also getting video. Oh, so he's just a hitman then. He's not yeah. like a... It's not like a superhero, then. No, it'll be like he's extra good with guns. A bit like in the Avengers, Hawkeye's extra good with arrows. That's sort of his skill. <laughs> so is he a hitman or a pimp there? When he's in no money, no money. <laughs> Probably a bit of both. Is 
Is he under police protection? I think so. Yeah, he said that he's a witness. <laughs> I didn't realize you could transfer money that quickly. <laughs> I know you can. He's moving, isn't it? And it wouldn't show up like that, would it? Like a WhatsApp message. <laughs> Surely the mask and everything just makes you stand out more. I think that's just to protect his identity, isn't it? Oh, did they not know who he was then? So yes, yeah, so it is an Arkham Asylum, then, yeah. the prison they're in. So is this woman basically blackmailing him with his 11-year-old daughter? Essentially. But he's also an assassin, so, you know, swings and roundabouts. Although, you can see Will Smith being like, I'm not being a baddie unless it shows that I've got a heart of gold. I like his outfit, though. He is looking dapper. but he I don't is. think I could pull that off. I think I could. 100%. <laughs> Maybe not the hat. I'm not a hat guy. I don't know. I remember your Jason Derulo jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I still got that picture, actually, somewhere. Oh, I think I do, too. <laughs> also, the 11-year-old daughter is aware of... The, what he does he kills job. people. Yeah, I feel like that's not great. She's like, I know that you've murdered a million people, but you bought me a doll, so you're fine in my eyes. <laughs> she can't really disown him, can, he? can she? At that age. Oh, uh, so he's going to get caught by Batman then. Wait, who's, who's playing Batman? Ben Affleck. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, there's Robert Pattinson now. Oh, dear. I'm not sure Affleck was the right person, to be honest. I like him as an actor. It's, I did see Batman vs Superman, and Batman was pretty sick in it. It was quite cool. Because hmm. he's like a Batman that actually like takes people down. Like It's not like Christian Bale nor them, where they would knock people out, and it's the whole moral code. This Batman's a lot more sort of like shady and dark. Ah. So he was like shooting people and blowing them up and stuff. Good times, good times. <laughs> That's what I look for in my heroes. <laughs> so were they trying to say there that Will Smith's one would have taken out Batman if his daughter hadn't been there? Well, he would have tried. This is going to be the Harley Quinn movie, isn't it? That's, that's the impression I got when I was reading the reviews. Oh, there's Arkham. I was right. Oh, no. So, okay, the prison's not Arkham Asylum. Oh, so she was Joker's psychiatrist. And then... Obviously was seduced by him. Clearly. Already not a fan of the Joker. Mm. Is he wearing braces? Yeah. Is he doing the whole like wrap his gold teeth thing? No, they're not gold. They're silver. But I get what you get. Your points. They kind of look like um, braces. Oh, he's really over the top, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a paint by numbers version of a psychopath. Very peculiar. Wait, did did she go crazy after he hurt her? I think it was a bit of both. It doesn't come across as a joker, it comes across as a pimp. Yeah. He's 
basically playing a crazy gangster. Yeah, which I don't think is what Joker ever was, was it? Not really, no. He was meant to be this, like, criminal mastermind. Yeah. Right now he's just come across as a cheap pimp. There's a lot of gold chains. Oh, he's really overacting it. Is this his club he's in? It must be. Or is he like a VIP? She's definitely going to kill him. Yeah, I, I think his his minutes are numbered. It's a strange couple. Mm. So is it just is it just him? Um, oh, I shot him. Oh, I thought it was going to be more. Um, what do you call it? More extravagant than that. So who's in the Suicide squad, squad? Just those two and Will Smith. There are more people, but I, I can't pretend to know it too well. But I think there's going to be about six or seven of them. But they've just focused on Will Smith and Margot Robbie so far. Oh, there's Batman again. That's a downfall, can't swim. He's got to be quite careful, that cape can drag him down in the water. That'd be fun, like, 15 minutes in, Batman's cape just gets tangled up in a fisherman's <laughs> net. <laughs> well, they do say most of the ocean is filled with fishing nets now. Oh, still alive. Really? I guess that's her dealt with then. And she'll try to bite him or something now, or... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's worth predicting this. No. <laughs> oh, ah, here's okay, another next one. one. Right. I was wondering. Captain Boomerang. That sounds like a kid's TV show. Oh, he's just done assault on a bunch of other stuff. He's, a... <laughs> he's vacuuming <laughs> up diamonds. Oh, he's an British. British. Australia. Oh, I thought, it was, I thought he had a London uh, accent. That's where the boomerang comes from. Oh, it's the Flash. <coughs> so they're going to have all the Justice League sort of picking them up then, I guess. Uh, so far, none of these guys are actually superheroes. They're just criminals. Yeah. And the, and the superheroes caught them. Although I think this guy has powers. He's like a flamethrower guy. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. This feels a little bit like a poor man's X-Men. Yeah. Killer Croc. See, Killer Croc sounds like a very different type of movie that I watched once. <laughs> <laughs> Cannibalistic tendencies. Is he a cannibal when he's a crocodile? I was going to say, does that mean he eats crocodiles or eats people? Ah, that is the confusion there. So 
So wait, is he a genetic mutation? or It's not really explained too well, is it? Or is he just taking body modification to the next level? <laughs> In one of those, I spent $200,000 on plastic <laughs> surgery and ended up looking like this. I think there is, a, there's that, that lizard guy. He's got horns and stuff. Oh, Tattooed like scales. I've seen the cat person. No, oh, maybe oh, that's um, Cara Delevingne. Yeah. So is her superpower having massive eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's also her superpower. Or, or whatever you call it. Having massive eyebrows. Oh. She was regular, then touched something she shouldn't have. And she's basically turned into the mummy. Ah, oh, so this is like a Jacqueline Hyde thing. Uh, sort of. That's Davy Jones's story. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's <the Caribbean. laughs> literally <laughs> lifted from that. So, what we'll do is we'll take Bill Nye from Pirates of the Caribbean, but we'll stick him in a current model. No one even really talks about Cara Delevingne anymore, do they? I recognise the name, I've completely forgotten about her though. She's basically but... a runway model who decided she was an actress. Oh, is that where she started from? Oh. She's like Kate Moss, really. Mm. Uh, the government has her heart, so that's how they're going to blackmail her. Mm. So they made that clear. The Will Smith one, they're going to use his daughter. daughter. I don't know what we're going to do with Harley Re- Quinn. Okay, so he's he's a army guy who's gone rogue. No, he's the guy who's got to keep them all in line. Oh, okay. I misunderstood them. And he falls in love with her? I do sort of feel like this movie is just full of weird stuff for the sake of being full of weird stuff. To be fair, she does have a very pretty face. Hmm? She does have a very pretty face. Yeah. And giant slug-like eyebrows. <laughs> I like how you focus on that and nothing oh, else. Goodness. They frame her face. <laughs> There's no getting past them. Oh, he's wearing a pink shirt. That's what I do. So do I. On a Wednesday only. Although the Americans can't call it pink. They have to say it's salmon. That's not salmon, though. It needs to be more peachy to be salmon. That's a line made for the trailer. <laughs> Wait a minute. So they want to put this team together in case they need them to take down another body at some point. Another superhero. Also, isn't this the storyline of Transformers? Not really, because they're yeah. not robot aliens. No, but they get the robot aliens to help them fight the other baddie robot aliens. Well, Transformers is more these two sides of these robot aliens are having a, a grudge match and they just chose the Earth it the, to have it. That's yeah. the, is that her? So that's the Cara Delevingne. Yeah. So you are ever question it, look for the eyebrows. Is she going to reveal herself as this crazy, yeah. crazy person? What are they doing? Wait, like do, can cool she control way? her? No, I think she loses control. How does she lose control then? So the... Enchantress oh. takes over. Ah. I oh, see that's quite a cool that way was of quite, doing it. Yeah, I was gonna say that's quite cool. I like that transition. Yes, I enjoy it. I approve immensely. It's basically the same girl though, she's just gone goth. Oh yeah, of course. So this is she turns into a fifteen year old rebellion against her parents. <laughs> Yes, yes it is. <laughs> Wait, how have they been able to um, get her to work for them? Did she just say, go get it, girl? Oh, sorry, they've got the heart. Yeah, That's so they, they make her them. do what they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. 
Ah. So she can teleport? I'm assuming so. So they don't need anyone else, they just get her to do it. I was going to say, surely she's powerful enough to do everything they need. And is he still supposed to be like looking after her? So he's fallen in love with her. Yeah, you can't trust Flag. Flag's gonna release her later. Mm, who knows what will happen? Probably something really stupid. Have we spent about half an hour here just setting up the characters? I suspect we have. Yes. This scene, or actually, maybe not this scene. Okay, I'll tell you in a second if it's the scene I think it is. What scene are you expecting? The one where w Will Smith is in the yard and they want to practice. Oh, so basically get him to shoot a pilot yeah, target to show yeah. that he's good at shooting. Yeah, yeah. Just like one. every single movie <laughs> like that ever. Basically. <laughs> this is just going to be full of cliches and teenage attempts to be edgy. Oh, God. Some of this dialogue. Is ropey. Also, this whole bit where she's in that separate little cage is a very Hannibal Lecter. Mm. It's, it's just full of cliches and dialogue that's come straight from Tumblr. Yeah. Does the killer croc talk? Mm, we'll find out, I guess. There's a lot of growling, isn't it? Nope, he talks. There we go. Still want to know if he was born like that or he was dropped into like a vat of chemicals or something. I've got the feeling that they just don't care enough to tell us. <laughs> also, I think they're losing like pretty much all of these characters apart from Harley Quinn for the next Suicide Squad. Is Harley Quinn going to be the same actress? Yeah, so Margot Robbie said, I don't think Will Smith came back. He could speak his language. Mm. I think they've literally stuck him in an incinerator. Oh, okay. Oh, so he's... He's very noble. He's reborn. Oh, oh. bye. Very cool. Yeah, this is the scene I've seen. <laughs> Never missed a shot in his life, even when he was practicing, even when he was three. <laughs> He's going to point at it though. <laughs> oh, such an. Uh... 
<laughs> Again for the trailer. It's just going to go round, off around, mm. off around. Oh! Turns out he's able to shoot the target. Who would have thought? Not just that, he's getting the bullets through the same hole every time. That's all well and good, but can he make the bullets curve like he wanted? <laughs> That's the real talent. His aim is good. <laughs> he's got custody of her now. Oh, mum. Yeah, he's got ex wife. Oh damn. Erin boy. <laughs> what, he's, he's against it now? He yeah. seemed to be alright with it at the beginning. I think it's one of those, they need to put some form of tension in so he doesn't want to be around them. <sighs> I've got to be honest, this thing's losing me already. Yeah, it's not exactly gripping. I think there's going to be some scene where she gets her come up in, in some way. Oh, you think so? Oh, yeah, because she's like lording it over everyone else and manipulating them to do what she wants. See, look, she's even threatening him, and he's just an army guy. She'll get come up and she's gonna lose control of that heart at some point. Ah. Problem is, I'm not I'm not specifically convinced by any of their characters. No. And this They're Joker, all overacting. Yeah. All of them. I Jared Leto is the most guilty of that. He's trying yeah. way too hard. To be like, I'm the Joker, I'm crazy and dangerous. Yeah. Will Smith's just playing himself just on a bad day. Yeah, he's the Fresh Prince of Hitman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, the crocodile guy, crocodile guy is just a crocodile. Yeah, he just growls a lot. Uh, and eyebrows. Eyebrows. It's just there to look scared pretty. Of She's yeah. just scared of just, herself. It's just a, a pretty dark mm -hmm. emo type. And Harley Quinn's there to be every teenage boy's wet dream. Yes. Oh. oh, classic butcher in the background, just to, yeah. you know. Just to be menacing. <laughs> I don't get who this guy's meant to be. So he owes the money mm. for gambling. I've got Finn Joker's about to come in. That's Joker? Yep. What's on his forehead? Damaged. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not 
he's such a poser. Yeah. He doesn't come across a joker. No. He, he's a gangster. That's yeah. what he is. Yeah. He's, he's a nuts gangster. And, he, and he's, he's cheapened his character. He's, he's not actually that engaging or interesting. No. I also don't understand what happened there. Why did they need this guy who's in This guy owed a pile of money. Yeah. So and what? Joker's going to use him for something, but I don't know what yet. It's all very strange. Oh. I don't think that weapon's going to do you much good. No, I don't either. Right of it? Is this just a chance to get Cara Delevingne in her underwear? Potentially. Hmm. Wait, did she disappear? Looks like it. Oh. Oh, she's trying to get her heart back. Yeah. Why would she sit there with the heart next to her in bed? Wouldn't you keep that in a vault somewhere? Mm. Oh. Interesting. The she reminds me a lot like the of the mummy. The third was it the third mummy or the fourth? The one with Tom Cruise in it. Oh, the reboot. Oh. Ooh, damn. She's the best character in it so far. Yes. And she doesn't talk. I think that helps. <laughs> <laughs> I think that majorly helps. Wait, the brother was hiding in him. No, the brother was in the lot of statues. She stuck him in that bloke's oh, body. Oh, so now he's got a body too. Okay. It's a bit like Venom. They need a host. Hmm. Humans turn against us. Hmm. Did they work with the humans? Uh, oh, so they're oh, like ancient Egyptian gods. Yeah, right. true. Oh, social commentary. Wow. Oh, interesting. That's all does. I feel like if the film was about this, it'd be, <laughs> it'd be a massive improvement. I feel like this storyline is actually quite good. Oh, come back, the emoji movie. All is forgiven. <laughs> He's way too into her. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are a few red flags there, dude. <laughs> He's seeing them, but he likes it. <laughs> Why didn't she use him as the body for her brother? Interesting. Um, maybe he's not a worthy host. Just it would make her plan easier because he's on the inside. Ah. Hmm. Well, maybe the Empress's thinking, critical thinking skills aren't up to scratch. Yeah. She's not used to this modern world. No. The machines that consume us. <laughs> like his shirt as well. Lots of nice shirts there. <laughs> Was Bentley now wipes out the whole train station? All of them. Oh yeah. No pulse. Oh, he's been tentacled. What? Creating what? A pile of bodies? Oh, he's like morphing into one big. What is that? Is it like a ginormous Egyptian machine god type thing? Yeah. Oh, it's going to make them put together the Suicide Squad now. Mm. What, to take down? To take down this thing. But this would have never happened if they never put the Suicide Squad together in the first place. Is that the irony of this? 
I don't know. I mean, if they hadn't messed about with that enchantress, it would all be fine. That's not her being cool. No. That was so pointless. They could have just tasted her in the first place. If they're just trying to emphasize what a rebel she is. So why did they have to go in so hard just to get him? They could have said, we accept your... Yeah. Or maybe they're not going to accept his offer. So they were able to fill uh, that tank with water. Yeah, to douse him. They're really going over the top to emphasise how crazy she is. Yeah. You know what I That's saw a tracker. With, yeah. You know what I saw with her in the other day we were talking about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I'm saying it, yeah. It's not worth it really. I'm not surprised by that. It's nearly three hours long and nothing really happens. It sounds a bit like the Irishman. I never saw that. Same exact same thing. It's very long and nothing really happens. Cause normally with Tarantino it builds up to something yeah, yeah. and it just didn't. She means the Joker's going to get him, doesn't she? Possibly. How did no one see her have the phone? Oh, yeah. How did she get the phone? How did no one see her when she so got it out? So unanswered. There's too many holes in this already. I'm sort of glad that the em Empress... Tempress? Tempress, what's she called? Yeah. She's oh. going to be the... the big bad lady here. Yeah. That enchantress is clearly the big bad here. Why are they all dressing up? I guess so. Uh, like cover their right entity. Ah. He's dead. Yep. Or oh, they need him for something. Oh, they want to work out what this is. Oh, what he's stuck in. I thought they were just trackers. Yeah. It, it must be... I bet it, like, blows up if they go rogue and kills them to keep them under control. I feel like this is not really a machine, more like a machine crossed with a well, spirit he's, type this thing. weird... Uh, that's the problem, is they're not really explaining or defining anything. No. He's a good boyfriend, isn't he? Not really, I want to really count them as a boyfriend girlfriend type thing. <laughs> oh. I don't know what's happening. I just don't. Wait, what? She made him smaller. Oh, so she's using his power so she doesn't need the heart. Ah. Oh. Oh, this is weird. It is quite confusing, I have to say. Also, you know, this is not where I thought the film was going, by the way. No. <laughs> I mean... I'm lost. I'm sure there must be some people who like this and have enjoyed it, but I can see why so many people didn't. Yeah, the problem is, there's no fluidity to the storyline. No. And characters are doing things with no real motive, or there's no reason for half the things they do. I feel like the, the, also the film went from collecting them to suddenly all this. Yeah. So it's like, are they suddenly going to have to do like the big baddie fight? Or is the big baddie fight going to last an hour? Well, how like, is an assassin going to be able to take out the, this ginormous thing? I don't know. It's going to be about them coming together and working as a team and this, that and the other. 
rising above their differences. There'll be a part where they like lose. Okay, so now we've gone to the whole stage where the entire city is now being destroyed. So we've skipped like a good half hour of... Or more. Several days have gone past at this point. Yeah, because think how long it'll take to gather them all together. Well, in wheelchairs. Oh, and now they're playing Seven Nation Army. So this is going to be the cool getting them all together scene. This is the thing. They played um, a couple of uh, well-known songs. I mean, Kanye West Power as well. What they've done here is they've thought of like 20 key scenes that they want in and they're just they sort of connecting them all the in, dots. Yeah. Yeah, it's a poorly, poorly written storyline. Mm. <laughs> they just do. They just trying way too hard to emphasize that she's crazy. Yeah, who's that? Oh, the fire guy, or the boomerang guy. Yeah. Oh, it's the boomerang guy. The other thing, they've also focused on some of the team way more than others. Mm. That's another thing. What, what is the thief going to do add to this team? The fire guy, I can oh. see. Who's this guy? Oh. New character? Alright, he's been brought in to be killed early on. Calling her. <laughs> That's the only reason he's here now, is so that he'll die in a bit. I think the crocodile guy, crocodile guy is going to get taken out as well. Mm. <laughs> yeah. This new guy that they've just introduced, they brought him in so that he can run off, and they'll show that they do get blown up if they try and run off. That, that's oh, what he's there for. Okay, it's clearly okay, what yeah. he's there for. Must be an American joke. Another another classic song. Yeah. Do they really just bring her costumes? Yeah. But we know what she ends up wearing because every girl's worn it for Halloween ever since. They've taken every cool song and just shoved into the film. To try and make the movie cooler by proxy. Her gun literally said hate on it. Yeah. Why does he bother wearing clothes? What's with this pudding thing? And why does he wear clothes? He's going to be a fire soon. That's true. He should end up naked when he starts. Why has he got a fluffy unicorn? No, that's the thing. Nothing makes sense. You haven't actually developed anything. There's the outfit we all know. <laughs> you would though, wouldn't you? <laughs> that was probably the only genuinely funny bit in this so far. <laughs> I've just got a big mallet. Ugh. I just don't understand how this is going to be able to take on... An Egyptian goddess type thing. What? Ah, the lady. Yeah. She really stays out of the way, doesn't she? She's like, I'm not getting my hands dirty here. I 
Ah. I don't think she actually would. No, oh, kill them all. Yeah. But let's say they're in the middle trying to take down the guy she needs taken down and he just randomly dies. She's not going to be like, oh, well, they all die too. I just, I just don't understand how this band of amateurs <laughs> is going to take on, <laughs> essentially, the mummy. Yeah. Oh, Who's she? This weird samurai one. And she actually seems cooler than a lot of the others. Yeah. Ah, she's like the Harley Quinn of East Asia. Oh, so they've made out that she's basically not a villain. No. Like, yeah, anti-hero. But like... Oh, actually, he's treating her like a good goodie. So I think she's considered a good guy. She's just been hired by the army as extra. <sighs> Whoever wrote this... I'd heard that Harley Quinn was really good in this, and she's not. No, she's not. I agree. I agree. She's got the most... Um, screen time. Screen time. So far, Kara's still the best. He's useless. I'm mm. not happy with this Joker at all, in any way. No, he's not good. And how is no one seeing this? Yeah. Tell me no one notices the phone. It's a chunky phone, too. I'm guessing she escapes in the end with him. She must do. So, no, she's in the sequel. I don't know if Jared Leto's in the sequel or not. That's so American, isn't it? <laughs> Anything happens, it's terrorists. His acting's a bit bad as well. Yeah. No one special in this. Like, Will Smith's fine, but you can tell he's phoning it in a bit. I wonder how they got him into this. This doesn't really feel like a Will Smith type. Money. <laughs> Money. I bet it got pitched to him as this, like, dark and cool and this, that and the other and interesting. He didn't realise his co-actors were going to be... Uh... And then he, he signed it, and then he read the script and thought, oh, here we go. <laughs> and he's like, well, I'm definitely not doing this equal. <laughs> I think we're finally going to get Wait, some action, so, though. So the helicopter crashed, roll over, and everyone's fine? Yeah. No, no one's even got like, a sprained wrist. Ridiculous. Wow, so they evacuated the city as well. Looks like it. The uh, evacuation of New York City during Godzilla was more realistic <laughs> and believable than this. <laughs> What's she going to do with the baseball bat? Oh, maybe he dies. I think oh. he's tricking the other guy into testing it. Ah, you've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> what led other people to their deaths? Yes. It's a test. <laughs> Only a couple of times. What? Oh. Yep, told you. And. Oh, I thought he was going to go. Oh. Oh, told you. I did say it, didn't I? Yeah, you did call it. (laughs) 
Is Deadshot actually uh, a comic book hero? I think so. I think they are all uh, from the comic books. Uh, but okay. Just lesser known ones. Yeah. <laughs> you like the Australian one, don't you? <laughs> I think she's an idiot. I just, oh, Jesus. I'm actually going to get damaged from the amount of eye rolls I'm doing during this. See, it's weird because this almost sort of feels like the final battle sort of bit. It does. It feels like the but movie's then... just moved on really quickly and missed out a lot of stuff. I'm guessing something's going to happen. Someone's going to escape, and then they're going to come back together to take mm. down the, the big evil thing. It's going to be like they're defeated, but they sort of rally in a quiet corner somewhere. Oh, actually, if we work together, we'll be fine. <laughs> also, at this stage, wouldn't the US Army know that they're up against something that can't be taken down with a couple of machine guns. I mean, they're just like, we'll just chuck these guys at it. But a lot of these soldiers are here to get wiped out. Cannon fodder. Yeah. What they, who they need is the A-team. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't get why they've not called Batman. Since he's clearly around in this. And yeah, he's in it's true. And uh, the Flash. Flash, Wonder Woman... Like, why not just get the Justice League? I it's true, actually. But then again, nothing about this makes sense, so... No. What the hell is that? Was it the crocodile guy or something else? It was like a weird zombie-ish type of thing. She's going to slice it open. It's just, again, oh. it's bodies for them to fight and take down. Before they even get to the main thing. Is he drinking? <laughs> wow. Yeah, soldiers there to get taken down. So wait, are they... I don't get what they are. They're like these weird, like, monster... They're just blobs, basically. I like how they can get taken down by bullets, though. It's like a video game. You yeah. know where you just get endless enemies rock up yeah. for you to take down? Ah, the lizard guy came in handy. It's literally the point in this scene is just to show What's... what they can all do. He's like, I'm not getting involved. Yeah. She's not much use, really, is she? I mean, she's got a baseball bat. That's what I'm saying. That's what's silly about the whole thing. He's still got the fluffy unicorn. The fluffy unicorn must mean something. His daughter, maybe, as well? Oh, I don't know. So now they have to save him. <laughs> so reluctant, reluctantly helping him mm. with the baseball bat. <laughs> okay, that was all right. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. So Killer Croc is basically just a WWE wrestler, essentially. This guy's just really accurate. Mm. He's basically the main one. He's turned into the main one now, hasn't he? The, yeah. The reliable one.
How many of them are there? If they're just going to keep coming... It's like a zombie movie or something, isn't it? Wait, are they humans that have been infected or something? I think, yeah, I think this mummy guy... That would make more sense. He's turned them into this. Yeah. Well, he did got the job done. I don't understand that story. Yeah, the unicorn thing is just weird. I'm sure it'll be explained at some point. <laughs> You're starting to enjoy her, aren't you? Parts of it, like not 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 the story as a whole. His uh, Australian accent isn't very convincing. No, <laughs> it comes across more as British. At least he's slightly more interested in some of the other ones. Wait, what? Oh, so you noticed one of them had a watch. Ah, uh, okay. So that's the thing I said. There used yeah. to be people. They're, like I said, they're zombies like. They've been infected by the Egyptian lady. Well, that makes more sense. A little bit. Thing is, we're what? Halfway through. I'm not really rooting for anyone. No, that's the thing. I'm not really um, behind any of them. Like, if, if anything, I'm behind the Empress Egyptians. lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we're going to see how they turn into them. Or kisses them and they turn to that. Looks like it. Yes, Queen. <laughs> Light for the trailer. Yep. It is so obvious as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, he's going to picture his daughter. He's going to feel sad. Whose body? Wait, what? I don't know. I thought they were going to the train station. Whose body? It must be some important guy that they're meant to get out. I just don't know. There's only nothing's been explained. Is that we've just talked of the <laughs> explanations? <laughs> I was going to say, maybe it's us. Probably. Maybe we haven't paid attention enough. <laughs> we don't usually have this problem, though. No. Scorpion King was very straightforward. Yeah. Clear cut storyline. No. Someone's tempting fate. Mm. I do think he's going to die, though. Who the boomerang guy? Yeah, and then he'll be ho he'll be holding the the uh, unicorn, fluffy unicorn. See, I've got more of a feeling that fire guy is going to do some self sacrifice thing. Where did he come from? I just dropped through the roof of the elevator. More are going to drop down now. Good call. 
I think this is where it's designed so that we can see that she's useful. This song is not helping. No. Oh, so they got up all those stairs quicker than she went up in the elevator. I'll stop giving up trying to work out how things work in this film. Oh yeah, it's just nonsense. It's his name flag. Yeah, I mean, it's his name. He's like Colonel Flag or Captain Flag or... Is it because he carries the American flag. flag with pride? Yeah. Probably supposed to make us think that it's about patriotism and all this nonsense. Ah, here they are. You're right, though, it does feel a bit video game-ish. You go mm. to each next level and there's more of them until you get to the big boss at the end. Yeah. I wonder if they did make a video game for this. Mm, I don't know. I don't really work, uh, play video games. I do get the feeling the soldiers are all going to get picked off one by one. I think some of them will survive. Ah, oh, where's the money in the... Money? Yeah, he got, that's uh, when he got stabbed. Oh, he went into the, the money, money. Him. There yeah. we go. He is always in danger, considering he's meant to be this special <laughs> forces guy. <laughs> The flag again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Right, here we go. Time for the flames. I still feel like this entire enterprise could have been done without these guys. Mm. So are these zombie things shooting at them now? Yeah, because they captured some of the army guys and turned them into... Okay. <laughs> ah, finally. Yeah, I mean, it's if about he, time. If he did that at the beginning, it would have saved a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, damn. He's the only useful one here. <laughs> he is the most useful one. Yeah, beyond just holding a gun, which is <laughs> what they all can do. Is the heart up there or someone up there? Oh, I don't even know what they're doing now. Well, I really just don't have a clue. <laughs> it's, uh, I know they're trying to get to the top. To annoy me. It's try they're trying to get to the top to grab something. Or someone. Or someone, yeah. Or a helicopter's coming to pick them up in the roof. Or... No, yeah, but no, after they get the thing. The extraction happens after. Oh, what's all that? I think she's having a flashback. Ah, oh, you're right. Because they always said the Joker ended up like that because he fell in a like vat of chemicals or whatever. What the 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 teeth made him like that because of the vat? So like you know his skin's all white and his oh. hair's like green. It's in it. It's like he fell in these whatever chemicals and it sort of bleached him. He's just not engaging. No. Because the thing with, like, when you said the Heath Ledger one, you sort of understood what he was saying. Like, you could yeah. get his perspective. He, he had a personality. <laughs> this guy's this just guy. nuts so, for the sake of being nuts. He's not even nuts. Like you said, he's just a pimp slash gangster. Oh, 
Margot looks good here. Mm. That, that hair and those glasses make her look good. Right, okay. And she comes out with bleached hair. Yeah. Well, he's going to jump into. I don't, I don't understand any of this. Maybe he just lands on her, knocks her out. Wait, where did the red and blue ink come from? It's sort of this like imagery because obviously she wears red and blue. It's not just, it, no, yeah, it is. And you can tell it's clearly been put in because they're like, oh, this will look really cool. Great. We're going to have this conversation now. <laughs> My colleague is not enjoying this. <laughs> I think this is the most fed up I've got during one of these. I'm just like, stop. <laughs> stop this. It's not even like where it's bad and you just make fun of it and have fun. Yeah. Like, it's actually offending me. <laughs> <gasps> this is one of the reasons why I'm, not, I'm generally not a huge fan of the comic book films, DC or Marvel. See, I don't mind. The Marvel ones, I think, are fine. DC's quite hit and miss. But this is a stinker. This, this is really bad. There are obviously better ones. But generally, one of my problems is nothing ever really makes sense too much. No. And this, so, this is the worst of them all. They're very guilty of just... Yeah. Just hooning every stereotype into the film. It's just a huge pile of cliches, and they've gone, oh, this will be cool. And it's not. It's not cool. Wait, what? Oh, he's gone to meet her. That's where she's been this whole time. She's stuck in the city. Oh, right. Two-Face dude? Because he didn't tell them that they were picking her up. Does that mean he turns into Two-Face later? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Two-Face was Harvey Dent, the lawyer. Oh, she just killed a pile of FBI guys. Is she a baddie, then? I think she is, basically. Classic, don't work for the government. Mm. <laughs> it's not like they're going to do anything to her. That's the thing, she can still um, blow them up. Ah, she's there to defend them. That's the thing, she can just blow them up. Although, if they just rushed her, she wouldn't have time to quickly, like, click that at all. I think that's why sword ladies. But he likes her. I guess they're doing the whole like evil respect. So evil this thing. entire thing so far was just to get her out of the city. Yeah, we haven't even we we thought they were going into oh Jesus makes it longer, doesn't it? Un yeah, but unnecessarily. That entire storyline was pointless. 
if they develop the characters in the beginning first. Oh, joke is in it. Wait, I thought he was. Oh no, he wasn't Joker. Sorry. Yeah. Why is he dressed in a dinner suit? Why has he got a gold AK forty seven? See, it's all. It's all style, no substance. Yes. Right. Wouldn't it look cool if they were wearing this? Wouldn't yeah. it look cool if they did that? Oh, he's disarming. Disarmed her. Yeah. Oh, bye bye Harley Quinn then. Something happens. The big alien? Lady? Egyptian yeah. lady? Or like a rocket launcher takes down the copter or something. Or she escapes and then feels bad and then comes back? I don't see her doing that. Maybe she's just done. I thought he was already doing this for the Freedom of Theatre. They were only offering reduced time. See, he's just gone, oh, she's dead. Oh, he shoots the rope and she falls, I reckon. Come on. Oh. So how is she in the next one, then? Hmm... Ah, uh, there must be something. No, she's still alive. Well, he missed. I thought he never misses. Ah. Wait, they could have done at the beginning. Yeah. Oh, he's pudding. Makes him a lot less jokery, doesn't it? That's the thing. He's, he doesn't come across as joker at all. Oh, come on. That would have blown it up. Not just set it mm. on fire. It's so they can survive, isn't it? He also tries to make him sound a bit like Johnny Depp. Yeah, there is a bit of that. Oh, there she goes. Oh, oh yeah, on. she'd land that land easily. Is... Oh, come on. Oh, the whole thing's ridiculous. Um, so she thinks Joke is dead, but obviously he's not. This storyline's all over the place. What do we yeah. focus on? The pointing gun at her. Oh. Why would they even care? I don't know. Like they're baddies. They've known each other two hours. <laughs> oh, she's leaving the rest of them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that helicopter had room for a few more. She just didn't want to be with them. Oh. Why? Why are they doing the flares? Oh, I don't know. That's usually to distract. Ah. I like how no one dies in a helicopter crash in this film. <laughs> See, Kobe should have been in this movie. Who? Kobe Bryant. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what you were referencing. I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So I don't understand why the Empress came out now. Oh, because she's got the heart. Oh. Obviously. Oh. Mm. Go save. Well, so they just saved her, and now they've got to save her again. This story is nonsense. Deal's changed. Who wrote this story, by the way? Hopefully someone who's never written another movie again. <laughs> I was going to say, someone should be fired by, her, by now. Although, I bet they've gone on to write something else that we really like. <laughs> it's just the way of the world, isn't it? But these sort, these sort of films are written by more than one person, though. Oh, yeah. Like, written by committee. <laughs> <laughs> written by an accountant. Oh, he t- he, she took the uh, pudding belt off. I like how she moved on from this quite quickly. Oh, now she's going to pretend everything's okay. Hmm. All right. Maybe she's not as crazy as she puts on. Maybe. Oh, written by one guy. The same guy who directed it. It's David Ayer. Right. What else has he written? I'm gonna look. Um, I'm gonna get some information here. Training Day. Oh the wow. Fast and the Furious. So films I actually like. He's written. Uh, Sabotage Fury. You wrote Bright. Fury. Yeah. And directed. Before he did Suicide Squad. So why is this so bad when he's, be, he's done all... Training Day is... And then... Wait, Training Day though? So Training Day is the Denzel Washington... Yeah, yeah, I thought it was, yeah. Yeah, he That's wrote it. He wrote it. So if he, he can pull those off, how has he pulled this one so badly? I think he was given free reign on his own. I, I mean, a free reign on a couple of others as well. Oh, they've got the heart and put it back in. So she's going to be, like, all-powerful now. Wow. (laughs) It's the whole, I ain't scared of you. Wait, I don't understand. Why does she need to know how to destroy human armies? Oh. <laughs> good, good guess. <laughs> We are asking the same question. (laughs) (laughs) Don't tell me he's going to uh, somehow fix up the helicopter. So I was looking for the sequel there. Okay. And the only two who return are Margot Robbie. Yep. Uh, Oh, the Captain Flag guy returns, so he must not die. I shouldn't have looked that up anyway. Um, (laughs) And then... Spoiler. The Captain Boomerang. Oh, Captain Boomerang comes back. They're the only ones who come back. Oh, and obviously, go on. Uh, he's found the top seeker file, and he wants to know the details of exactly what's going on. Okay. All right, we might get some answers. Is he lying, do you think, about this? He's probably telling the truth. Oh, she bolted. No, but we know that that non-human entity was... Oh, and that's why she started stabbing the heart.
she's finally told them that they're going after this like big god thing and they're like can't do that leave it the only one who might have half a chance is the fire guy yeah I like how his own soldiers walked off as well this is going to be their like we regroup as a team moment but we're doing before this, they go and do the final we're doing battle. this for good not for you type thing at least that means that they're getting towards the final battle <laughs> we're getting there we're getting to the end is that tequila? Oh. <laughs> Harley Quinn's a drink looks nice. Yeah, she's on the WKD. That's probably exactly what it is. And the worst part of it is we had to sit through it. No. Um, by the way, I'm refusing to watch the second one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got a feeling I'm going to end up watching it at some point. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if someone recommends it, then we have to watch it. It's uh, meant to, it's gotten good reviews, that's the thing. Oh, it's already out? It's in cinemas. Oh, it's in cinemas now, okay. Yeah. Do you think they will let us do a live commentary in the cinema? No. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be quite cool if we could, though. I think it's the people around us would hate us. Maybe we could just book out the entire cinema. <laughs> Flash in the cash there. <laughs> We just got a really small one. <laughs> like on a boat or something. On a boat? Yeah, and the cinema's on cruise ships and stuff. Oh, like that. okay, when you said boat, I was thinking smaller. Cruise oh, ship. Right. Accent. Yeah, but cruise ship that's filled with people. I reckon you'd have a better uh, luck if you just went to a weekday to a cinema. Like a one o'clock show. Yeah. Chance on there might be no one there. This guy's talking about his emotions, and I just don't care. Oh, it's going to be where he shows how he lost his family. Well, how did he become fire powerful, anyway? I don't know, I guess he was born with that. Oh, so he was like a gangster. So he... And the wife took the kids away. He lost control. And pinned them all down. Interesting. So he is a proper villain. Hmm. Doesn't explain where the fire skills, skills come from. Are they all going to open up now? This is sort of I like a therapy not. session. I really hope not. She's she, she's helpful in a grim situation, isn't she? Turning on each other. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he going to show something? Oh. Mm, okay. If you say so. He's back. That oh, was flag. What, like he suddenly buddy buddies with him? How did he read that entire binder so quickly? <laughs> 
That's movie reading powers. Nice, though, so they were sleeping together. Yeah. He was dating not the witch, but the, the, the body, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm in a serious relationship with a fair set of eyebrows. <laughs> Oh, damn. Huh. I'm going to run off. Well, you would, wouldn't you? Boomerang's gone, but it's going to come, come back around. Oh, uh, right, okay. Just drawing him in his Hitman costume. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, remember when you used to kill people? Oh, great. I was going to have a fight now. Mm -hmm. This is supposed to be the... Uh... Oh. Oh. No, but the acting in this is so cringe. The acting and the dialogue is so cringe. Nope. Nope, she's up for it. See, this is where they're all bound together now. Yeah. <laughs> that's not a proper reason, though, is it? No, that's the thing. Nothing about this story is proper. The baseball bat says good night on it. Oh, see, there's the Captain Boomerang came back. To told you, yeah, told you'd come back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> Who plays the uh, crocodile man? Couldn't tell you. Right, they'll say it in the credits, and we'll be like, "Oh, okay." Who? I mean, I can look it up now. Oh, Samsung paid a lot of money. Oh, someone's live streaming, <laughs> but they've got tons of Twitch followers. How, who's filming that? In such high quality as well. <laughs> uh, what's, what's this film called again? <laughs> Suicide Squad. I'm going to guess that the crocodile guy ends up doing the underwater stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Happened before. The next suicide... The next Suicide Squad is called THE Suicide Squad. Oh, big difference. <laughs> <laughs> What's the crocodile guy's name? It's Killer Croc. His what? sword is smoking. What's going on? <laughs> right here we go we're finally getting the like final battle and then it'll be done oh oh it's an English uh, actor Oh, okay. Oh, he also plays in Mummy Returns. Oh, from way back when? Yeah. He plays in Thor? He put, played in Born Identity? Oh, so he's been around. A Adewale. Yeah, 
I was born in London. It's from Manor, the woods. There we go. Well, mine. Yours is slightly west. Playing Game of Thrones as well in the fifth season. So he's the sort of guy you'd recognise him if you saw him. Yeah, it's obviously with the crocodile stuff. It's difficult to work out who he is, but yeah, you'd recognise him. I bet him he'd just sit and make up for like six hours at the start of every day to be in this. Yeah, no, not really worth it, is it? <laughs> so, what machine is she building? I don't think they even care enough to try and explain it. Oh, she's she's wriggling. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a little dance she's doing. I don't really see what they can do to fight this thing. Is it, you know, is he's he, still trying to crack onto her. <laughs> it's like, is he going to chuck his fluffy unicorn at her? Her voice is not nice now. It was it was cuter back before. Hmm. Before the heart was put back in. She's like, look at me, I swear I'm an actress. <laughs> Flashback? A situation where he kills Batman. Oh, is she, is she showing them this? Mm. Through their minds? So she's showing them the life that they want. So it's oh. Margot Robbie being Margot Robbie again with oh, Jared Leto being Jared Leto. So not being crazy? Yeah. So that's her dream, not to be crazy? Yeah, she wants a domestic life with him. Yeah. Well, that's what I say, she doesn't want to be crazy. Is it just him and his fluffy unicorn? No, that, no, that's flag. Oh, right. Ah. Eyebrows in bed. <laughs> <laughs> he wants his family back. Yeah. That's, that was obvious. Well, is she trying to tempt them, like, I can give you all this? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this seems alright. Oh, he's mad. Hmm. Took that long to realise. Why didn't she do it for the boomerang guy? I wanted to see his fantasy. To be with that lady. <laughs> the samurai lady. No, oh, to be with the unicorn. <laughs> oh. Big bros here. I, it is, it's video game big bad here. Yeah, it is. Yeah, like your gun's going to do anything. <laughs> That's what always makes me laugh in these sort of films. They're it's like in Transformers where the army rock up as if they're helping. Yeah. Like, <laughs> your 9mm pistol is going to do nothing <laughs> in this situation. You might as well just go home. Oh, boomerang. Pointless. Yeah. Oh, it's saved by there. Interesting, the knife worked. Oh, oh he just regrows it, he's like a Hydra. Wait, which family is he talking about now? This one. He's calling them his family. So, the Suicide Squad is now family. So, Suicide Family. 
Oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. Oh, that didn't work, did it? You and your stupid barbecue. <laughs> yeah, what's Pointless. That gonna do? Pointless. What is she gonna do with her bat? This is such a silly fight. Oh damn, he's mad now. He's gone full heavy metal. Wait, how did he become Egyptian? I think it's Incan. Because he's clearly meant to be like South American. Oh, I see. His Latino heritage is kicking in. Mm. Wait, the crocodile guy's wearing flippers? No, that's the SAS guy. Or not oh. SAS, the Marine, I should say. Oh. That makes more sense. Are they sure? He's going to get blown up with that. Are, you, are they sure that this um, bomb is actually going to take him out? I think so. It looks like he's taking him out anyway. That's what I'm saying. He's the only one who could have realistically taken him out. The rest of them, their guns were useless. Mm. This is where they both get taken down. Blow it. It's funny, I thought you'd be saying that to Harley Quinn instead. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that's right. You got played. Also, I still don't understand how the bomb would have taken out. No, I don't get what she's trying to do with that. No. Right, so now they just have to take out eyebrows. Well, I reckon that's going to be tricky. They'll defeat her with like some waxing strips. <laughs> There's a hero called Veet rocks up. <laughs> what is she doing now? I don't even have a clue. She's done a spell and she's completed that. It's your classic blue beam to the sky. What? The electrical grid just... She she did, yeah, she didn't like that at all. Oh, she just... Oh, no, she's oh. she is. Oh, I forgot she could teleport. It's Why like did taking she... on Nightcrawler from the X-Men. Why does it... Yeah. That's the blue one, right? Yeah. She was hot, too. Oh, it was a bloke. The blue girl? No, that's Mystique. She oh. was a shapeshifter. That's the shapeshifter. Nightcrawler was, was a guy who would teleport. Because, um... Who played, um... The shapeshifter? Mystique. Yeah. Um, the original was, I think, Rebecca Romaine. Yeah, no. And then it was Jennifer Lawrence yeah. in the reboots. Yeah, and I think she did a really good job. I just fancied Mystique, to be honest, throughout the whole of X-Men. I wasn't interested hmm. in the rest of the story. <laughs> Couldn't care less. This does remind me of The Mummy a lot. Yeah. I never watched the Tom Cruise one. I heard it was oh. awful and I just didn't bother. It wasn't... It was never going to live up to the original Mummy, let's be honest. Mm. Uh, but I enjoyed it. I think I've told you this before, but the girl who did the stunts bit for the Mummy, which yeah. was crawling around the floor, I, I know the girl who did that. Oh, there we go. She's a... What do they call them? Oh, I forget the name now. But she stunt can, woman? No, she's not a stunt. She can, she can bend her body in lots of different ways. Oh, con, uh, contortionist. contortionist Lester, yeah, I know both her and her sister. I think this is them working as a team now, but she can teleport. Just teleport. Yeah, just just teleport out of there. Oh, she did. <laughs> She's listening. 
I'm sorry, but Boomerang guy should have been dead a while ago. Yeah, I'm not really sure what he brought to this. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Why didn't you do that from the start? <laughs> <laughs> wow, clock tower's looking weird. Oh, this is going to be a trick. I think you're right. Yeah, it's just a big, big track. She's making it obvious. I feel like everyone saw that. Didn't need an explanation. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> oh, croc. Is she in heels? Didn't even notice that. No, neither had I actually. See, if it was a Tarantino movie, we would have seen her feet ages ago. Does he have a. <laughs> yeah, he's got a thing for feet. <laughs> How do you know that? It's well known. Is it? Well, I didn't know that. Wow, Croc guy really came through. That's his audition for the shot put at the Olympics. <laughs> but he's not using regulation form. And now Will Smith's going to try it for the clay pigeon shooting. I'm actually quite good at that. Huh, nice try. Oh, the... Uh, it's a vision, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A trick. This little Egyptian lady. <laughs> Trying to mess with everyone's head. Again, how is this going to take out this ginormous robot thing? I don't know. Bombs solve everything in American movies. Oh, the revolver says love on it. Amazing. It's Harley Quinn's revolver. She chucked it to him. So it must say love on one side and hate on the other. We must have just missed it earlier. No, I th th do think it said hate on both sides. But obviously the bit the mm. we didn't see it. I don't know. There we go. Done. I'm, I'm praying this is the end now. <laughs> They're going to wrap this up, right? Hopefully quickly. Oh, is she now? All right, jeez. you best spot now, come on. What's he taking? The heart? Mm. Oh, he's going to try to bring her back. What is it, the heart? Yeah. Oh wow. Mm. <laughs> Empress be uh Oh, he did apparently. Yeah. No more eyebrows. Hmm. Well, wait, you never know. I come back last minute. Surprise us all.
I really wanted her to uh, chop her in half. Yeah, slice and dice. What is going on now? Oh. Oh no. Oh yeah, eyebrows. Uh, Finally. Might have been a bit better if she just died. Ah, oh, it would have been more fun. <laughs> this is just too soppy. And she's happy. Oh. That is a solid way to start a relationship. As long as they're happy. Oh. Oh, God. What do you say? I don't know. So has he got the worst sentence out of all of them for robbing a bank? He might have killed someone as well in the process of it. <sighs> really? Pythagoras? Hmm. Why are we watching this? <laughs> Why are we watching this? I don't understand. Uh, I think it's meant to be our version of a happy ending. <laughs> wow. You have to really make that obvious, don't you? Yeah. He's going to say not in front of my daughter and blah blah yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Curvature of the Earth. That's how far he's shooting. They need to take into <laughs> account the curvature of the Earth. <laughs> so that's what twenty miles or so before that also, becomes a factor. Also, this just tells me that assassin guy is teaching his daughter how to <laughs> become an assassin. Family business. <laughs> so if he was getting like a million dollars or two million dollars a job, why is she living in such a rubbish flat? <laughs> she should be in a penthouse somewhere. <gasps> I'm guessing he's not allowed to use oh, his, just uh, ill games. he just hates his ex-wife so much that he won't let her have a penny of it, even if it goes to his daughter. I mean, let's be fair, nothing in this movie made sense. No. I guess, you know, they're kept with the theme. Oh, they've dragged Queen into it. Is Joker really did then? No, he's going to break her out of prison now. Oh, she really got an espresso machine. He lives in a sewer. Oh, uh, he must have asked for a TV. He's having fun. He's just angry. Yeah. What was his demand then? Well, he's just come along. That, that's the thing. He uh, he didn't demand. That's the mistake he made. He gets to see his kid. We've got the coffee machine, we've got the TV. See, this is going to end now with Joker breaking around. There we go. It's like you wrote it. <laughs> you call me a bad writer. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just, it follows so many cliches that oh, you yeah, just it's know just what's going to yeah. happen. Oh, they're dressed as the police. Or the guards, rather. That must have been part of how they got in. Now he's going to rip his mask off and it'll be Joker. Oh, it even says Joker on it. Oh. Why did she call him pudding? The pudding thing is silly. Right, 
There well, we go. That wraps Done. up a very long and tedious film. Oh, that was just. That was hard work. That was hard work. That was really hard work. I think we've said everything that needs to be said in this. Uh... Yeah, I think we will be wrapping this one up quickly. <laughs> uh, All we've got left a... is our rating. The rating system. Yep. So I'm going to give this uh, oh, 12 mafia style cliche talking jokers <laughs> out of 77. <laughs> I like how you deliberately went for a really low mark. <laughs> oh, it, it deserves a low mark. It was just poor. Out of 77, yeah? Out of 77. You gave it a 12. Uh, I'll, I'll match that. I'll give it a 12. Yeah. This was just what, sub It was so bad, yeah. Um, this was... Yeah. It, this deserves all the bad reviews it's got. Oh, yeah. 100%. There's maybe the worst thing we've watched. Yeah, I think there was a grand total of like three minutes that I actually thought was funny or interesting, but that's it. Because the Emoji movie was shocking. It wasn't good. But, but no one expected that to be good, yeah. to be fair. But it's one of those, at least we had fun making fun of it. Yeah, this one. It wasn't, you're right, it wasn't enjoyable even for the bad reasons. No, it was, it was just, a slog. This was yeah. a slog. This was. Right. Uh, right, let's forget that this ever happened. <laughs> I mean, if you enjoyed our commentary, please remember to like, Our subscribe. commentary was better than the film. Oh, definitely. Uh, please feel free to comment. Um, suggest any other things you'd yeah, like we'll us to do requests. commentary on. We have done a few. Please, nothing is just pointless as this. This was... Oh, I just, have uh, mercy. Oh, I'm off to take a shower, I think. <laughs> I need to wash this off, mate. Uh, right. right. Until cool. next time. See you later. Bye. Yeah.